Hello and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hose Mo Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. We're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about valley fever. Uh, it's a fungal infection that's very common in Arizona and Nevada, uh, the desert areas. Uh, it's found in the ground and so it's just everywhere. And um, basically it's something that if you live in that area, you really need to watch out carefully for, um, you know, and, and know the symptoms and, and get it checked out and stuff like that. So um, basically, it, it, like I said, it is a fungal infection. It can be tested for with blood work. Uh, we also do x-rays, um, which I'll explain in just a second. Um, and it can be treated because it is a fungal. However, uh, it usually takes management and not actual just treatment. And so... Um, the typical places that we see infections are in the eyes, the lungs, and the bones. We can see infections in any area, but, <coughs> excuse me, but those are the common ones. So in the eyes, um, you start seeing eye lesions. Um, we need to have that checked out. In the lungs, you start seeing coughing. Uh, we take x-rays, and actually on x-rays, it looks very similar to cancer. So a lot of times we need to um, do a little bit further testing to kind of differentiate between cancer and the fungal infection. In the bones, same things. Um, so Sorry, going back to the lungs real quick. It causes these little nodules all over the lungs. Um, um, in the bones, it also, you know, looks like cancer, unfortunately, and it actually eats away at the bone. And so, um, again, sometimes we have to do, or usually we have to do, testing to differentiate between the two. Um, so if you're seeing any eye issues, bring the pets in. If you're seeing coughing, you know, a lot of people um, say, oh, you're just trying to get money from me. Why do I need x-rays? Just give me some antibiotics. Um, but antibiotics isn't always the the situation, you know, the, the cause or the cure. Um, a lot of times something else is going on. And so best medicine um, always, you know, does testing so we're not missing things. Um, and if you're having limping, uh, you know, then again, x-rays are really important. There's a lot of things we can't see from the outside, and when we take an x-ray, we're like, oh my gosh, yeah, you know, now we can figure out what's going on. So those are kind of the things to watch out for, um, and the main areas that you're going to see it, like I said, it is a fungus, it's everywhere. You can treat it, but it usually doesn't go away 100%. Uh, you do have to manage it or retreat often. Um, if you live in the area, obviously it's something you're going to have to manage a lot, and it is treatable with um, different antifungals and um, there's one that's kind of an antibiotic slash multi-purpose medication uh, that, it, that is used for as well. So if you have any questions about it, uh, again, it's not in every area of, of the country, but if you've traveled through or you know have lived in those areas for any amount of time, or there are other fungal infections that can act similar that are in different areas like the um, northeast of the United States and stuff like that. So if you have any questions, uh, let us know. I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.